Good day, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Wind Down Wednesdays with your girl, Joshia. And I am so excited to have you here once again with me. I mean, if you keep coming back, that means you're learning something. But this week's episode, we're going to talk about are you dating correctly? But before we get into are you dating correctly, because most of the times the majority of us are dating incorrectly, myself included, was not dating with intention. And that that's actually what makes the difference. Most of us, we just date to date. We don't date with intentions. But before we get into those specifics, I want to feature this week's book. And this week's book, I think it isn't even really a book, but it's a book of points. So, and I know this is the first poetry book that I read. And most of the poems that are in the book, it almost carries you like through the stages of life where you go through pain and then you you learn from it and then you grow and then and then you have happiness and this book goes by the name of milk and honey and i feel as if that if you really take the time to study the literary pieces in the book thank you so much if you take the time to study the literary pieces in the book right here i think it i i really feel as if It will definitely give you a deeper perspective of what you are going through in life. And basically, like she tells you exactly what this before. This is the journey of surviving through poetry. This is the blood, sweat, tears of 21 years. This is my heart in your hands. This is the hurting, the loving, the breaking, and the healing. And I feel as if that before you begin to really date with intention, this is a very good um, poetry book to read. And it's very short because the poems in it are not long. And like she said, the hurting, the loving, the breaking, and the healing. Once you go through those four stages, you can actually overcome anything. Now, with that being said, let's see if we are actually dating correctly. You know, what is dating? That is the question. What is dating? Dating is getting to know someone with the intention of having a future with them. Now, are you dating people to have a future or are you dating people to pass time by? Most of the times, we do not know why we are dating. And when you decide to date with intention, that means you're, you're serious about what it is that you want next out of it. Now, most of us don't date. We just have situationships, like I like to call them, or what people like to call them. And situationships are, we have sex, we have no commitment, but I catch feelings if you do something that I don't like. That's mostly the dating dynamic of today, right now, like in my age bracket. And I I just think in general, most persons, them, most persons don't want to become serious about dating because we fear commitment or we simply just do not know what we want. Now, dating with intentions is knowing exactly what you are looking for. Some of us decide to go into this boxing ring of dating with no skill. I don't understand. I, for the life of me. I don't know why we decide to take on the biggest decisions in life without some type of knowledge or skill. And I feel like that's what we do with dating because we rush into it and we don't get to know ourselves. For example, like you would take, like we take learning how to drive serious, right? That's a life skill. But we don't take who we allow into our, like we don't take who we allow into our lives serious. Why? Driving is important, don't get me wrong, but it's just as important as knowing who you have in your life and why you are dating. And most of the times, we simply either don't know how to date or we just simply don't know what we want. Um, When I used to date, I didn't know what I want. I didn't have a preference. I didn't have an age bracket. I didn't have any standards. I, 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 it was just like, I ain't got no type, you know bad people was the only thing that I like, you know, that type of thing, right? (laughs) And because I didn't have no type, like, I picked up persons that weren't really the ideal partner. Um, For example, for some strange reason, right, I always dated people that had kids, and I don't have any kids yet. I don't have any kids, but I always dated people with kids. And let me tell you something. I don't care if you was... Xena the Princess Warrior. I I don't care if if you are Wonder Woman. Um I I dating dating people with kids requires a different level of maturity. 
helping somebody raise kids requires a different level of understanding. And I became very burnt out early on in my years dating people with kids. And not because the kids burnt me out, you know. It's just a responsibility of having to be that particular figure in somebody's life. So when, like, I felt like I robbed myself, and a lot of times as young females we do this, we rob ourselves experiences of life because we decide to take on people who have already experienced life. And that's what happens when you don't date with intention, when you don't know what it is that you're going in the boxing ring for. Like, you don't know why I'm, like, I'm just going to fight. But you don't know why you're going to fight. And women date like this. Men don't. I'm not even going to lie. Men don't. If you see a man that's just having sex with females, he can tell you, I'm just having sex. I'm not dating. But then if you find a man that says, oh, I'm dating with intention, he will tell you, I am dating with intention. Only, only I feel like the majority of females, we go into this, this whole dating scenario and we, we fall in love with potential. Men don't fall in love with potential, sweetheart. Men fall in love with exactly what you are. Only us decide that, oh, I'm going to make him into something that I feel that he can be. He will not give you the same benefit of the doubt. Men take you for what you are. Whether that's the right perspective or the wrong perspective, whatever you present him, that's what he take you for, and he's not going to make excuses for you. When it comes to a man finding a wife, and when it comes to you actually accepting a husband, because you don't find a husband, you accept it. When it comes to a man finding a wife, I can tell you this, he is not going to waver on his checklist. If you in his type, he just ain't going to marry you, and he's going to keep searching until he finds somebody. So as females, we have to do the same thing. If that particular man does not fit your preference, do not date him. Stop falling in love with people's potential. Because then what happens if they never reach the expectation that you want them to be? You're going to realize that you waste a lot of time. You're going to realize that you're very tired. And then you just have a whole negative perspective about dating and relationships. If you are not ready to date and you just want to have fun, just have fun. Don't say, oh, I'm just, I, we'll see where it goes. Anytime you see where it goes, then you'll end up being people coming in law for 10 years, 10 and 15 years. And then when the man closes eye, you still don't get anything from him. That's, that's what ends up happening. Most of us are common, common in laws because we, does, we decided that we're not going to put some type of commitment on what we have. And if you go into this ring dating without intention, you can pick up anything. You ever heard the saying, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. If you don't stand for something like the checklist, what you want for dating, you just can, you can fall for anything. You, you're just going to fall for anything. And I'm going to tell you a uh, story time when I just decided, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I, I don't know. Right. So anyway, so right after I had, you know, decided to start dating again, I really didn't know what I want because my whole reality on dating was very, I, it was a hazy mirage. That's what it was. It, it was very, it was very cloudy. And I didn't know exactly what it was that I wanted in a relationship because I didn't know what I really wanted for myself. And, and the person that I decided to date it knew that I didn't know what I want. So they tried their hand because basically, you know, if they, if they get me, they get me. If they don't, they don't. Mind you, this person did not meet my um, requirements for attractiveness. This person didn't even meet my requirements for height because I looked down to him and he looked up to me. Literally, that's how it was. And, and, and you know what? It, it, to be honest, when you don't date with intentions, it's almost like a cry of desperation because you're basically just saying, I'm going to pick up whatever on it. And if it work out, it work out. If it don't, it don't. Right? Let me tell you something. High standards save you from low quality experiences. Write a checklist, please. So anyway, I decided to see where, where it went with this person, right? Because I was, I was, I was in love with the, not even in love. I liked the potential. So I basically said to myself, I said, you know what? We can look past the height. We, we can look past the height. You know, most of the time, women, we don't really like the, the model type of man. You know, once you smell good, like once you smell good and you have good hygiene, we, we, love, we love you, right? So I said, man, I can look past those superficial things. And then I realized because I started making excuses for the superficial things, there were some things in this personality that I missed out on. He had basically, uh, have you ever watched Strapped? 
And like Streff, you remember Lord Farquaad? He had that type of arrogance about him and I didn't notice it. And at first, I just went along with it, right? And then, like it reached some point, he started to treat me like I was the old girl. That's how he started to treat me. And I was like, hold on now. Hold on. I give you a chance. Like, this ain't making no sense. Because if one plus one is two, and two plus two was two plus two is four, then what is this? Right? I gave you a chance. I I'm I'm I made the exception for you. And then you're gonna treat me like I am the option, and this is what happens when you don't date with intention. And guess what? When he tried to te like treat me like I was not the the catch, twenty two, and he started to make me feel as if that, you know what? I'm doing you a favor. Oh, that was like a that that's fighting words for me. You, you, you basically telling me that that was like, you know, we stood, like we got in the ring. I don't know if y'all watched the, the Conor McGregor and the Mayweather fight. I was in Conor McGregor. Let me tell you now, I was Mayweather. And, and when I found out that he really had me for a conk or what, or the scientific word, a strumpus gigas, right? When I found out that that's what he rated me as because I didn't, because I didn't date intentionally I left the situation and I was angry at myself because when I had to leave that situation I knew that person wasn't my type and I said Joshia why would you date somebody that's not your type why are you still dating people based on their potential and this is this is what got you in trouble dating people based on their potential and then I noticed that I'm gonna keep putting myself through the same thing over and over again if I don't decide to date properly if i don't have a prerequisite list to say this is what you need if men have prerequisites like we listed earlier right what they look for in a woman why is it that we as women don't have prerequisites what we want for in a man and even when and you know what it is because we have this we have this theory that the first catch is what i need to carry home to eat no men don't think like that i can guarantee you men get hurt when when women when the relationships with the potential woman doesn't work out you know but you know what i love for men perspective is more efficiency that's their perspective yeah i hurt now yeah i understand that you're not right for me and yeah man i really thought you were you were going to be my wife but men let them tell you this and i and, and you could ask any man that they're going to feel it for now, but they're going to move on and they're going to say more fish is in the sea. That is the same. That's the same mindset we have to have, ladies. If, if you reach, if, if you have a potential bachelor and he does not meet your requirements, do not fall in love with the potential or think that maybe I could look past this. Because later on, you're going to be very unhappy. I became very unhappy and I started to not to make excuses for things that I know I did not want to make excuses for. So if you decide to date intentionally, you will have less BS to deal with. Literally, you will have let you will waste less of your time. You will actually be able to like filter out exactly what it is that you want and what it is that you don't want. And when I realized that men date intentional and women don't wait and women don't date intentionally, I realize that's why women have more negative experiences when it comes to dating than men. Now, what you need to do, and this is the first step in order to, to have some type of clarity to your dating life. You need to determine if the people in your life is situationships or they are, they are potential husbands. You need to categorize them. I don't want you thinking that a sneaky link is going to turn into a 30-year relationship or marriage. Mind you, because it could. It, it, because I, some people have some sneaky links for years now. But the first thing you need to do is determine the type of relationships that you have in your life. You need to determine if that partner is for you to have fun or if that partner is for you to date. You need, then the second thing what you need to do is do you really want to date to find a husband or do you want to date to have fun? Then after you decide to do that, you need to realize that dating does not mean that you are going, when you go on the date with this person, that that's the person that is going to be your match. Just like how there are so many fishes in the sea, my dear, you need to know that you're going to catch some barriers and then you can catch some groupers. 
But the fact remains, we're trying to catch marlins. That's what you need. Now, do not get mad at yourself when you catch barracuda. Because they know... <laughs> You know what? You know what about barracuda? Barracudas, we don't know whether they poisonous or not. So why would you want to catch a barracuda? And then sometimes we catch the grouper, right? Because you know they're small groupers, and then you have them big groupers, right? And then you'll be like, mm, I'm just gonna settle for the grouper because you know it's very hard for me to see a marlin. And then because we become so impatient, men are not impatient when it comes to dating. You know, men will date a hundred women until they find that one. They literally would. Only us get tired after we don't pick up two barracuda when we find around by the shipwreck. And then when we decide, you know, I'm going to go in deeper waters, we pick up one group that's good size. We'd be like, mm, I can get better than this, so I'm not going to go after the marlin. And then when we feel as if that we're so close to catching the marlin, we get discouraged. And you'd be like, let me just go back to the group. Ball. That's what we do. Women, men don't date like that. They would literally tell you, until I find Mistress Wright, I will cancel out all the mistress wrongs. They will tell you that. Women, I starting to get a little bit discouraged. Maybe this isn't for me. Maybe this is the best I can do. You know, maybe there's potential. That's how we debate with ourselves. And then also you need to look at dating as a, like, uh, not a game, right? But it's almost a game, to be honest with you. You need to speed date. Well, speed dating doesn't mean I'm, I'm going to tell you, go and sit down in a restaurant and then on your schedule, look at the schedule and say, okay, I have Johnny for 10 o'clock, then I have Jerry for 11 o'clock. No. Dating is, um, dating is basically getting to know somebody and knowing if you're compatible. So if there's something that is a red flag, do not overlook the red flag. Move on. I need to find something else. Do not settle when you're dating. Please stop settling when you're dating because that means when you get married, you're going to settle for all kind of foolishness. When you decide to be in a relationship with somebody, you're going to settle. Don't settle during dating. Dating is when you be big eye. Dating is when you look for the prize. Dating is when you, you look for your trophy. Do not settle during dating. And for my goodness, my gosh, my gosh, I, I think I need to tell this to everybody. Please. When you are dating, I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna zoom in for this. When you are dating, you don't need to have sex with everybody that you date. You don't have to. I this, this and the reason that I say that this is how sneaky links are created, and this is how we end up in toxic situations. You do not owe a man sex if you decide to go on a date with him. It is your time and your effort and your energy that is enough for him. Just because he gives you interest does not mean he needs sex from you, please. That's why we end up rushing. We rush into things because we have already become intimate with people that we know damn well incompatible with us. Stop rushing. When you involve sex and dating, you be, it becomes very cloudy. Like, you... You start to feel things for somebody and you start to want to give the benefit of the doubt to people because you have already shared that, that intimacy with them and you have already created a soul tie. That's what happens. Stop rushing into sex. Like, I don't know. I, you, know you know what I advise you all to do? And, and, and I, I honestly did this myself. You know what? Take on a vow of celibacy for a couple months. Please, take, take it on. Before you go, if you want to date really seriously, try to go with those sex for like just a just couple months or a couple weeks, right? And your urge for sex will be lower, and then you will think clearer when you go into dating. They wouldn't tell you this, but I'm going to tell you this. I know they wouldn't tell you this. I'm telling you this. It works. Please, stop putting the horse before the carriage. Let sex could wait. Because the minute that you start to become intimate with somebody, you start, you, you go, you drive past red flags like you a speed racer. You don't get mad at the red flags no more. You say, ooh, that's cute. Oh, he always checking up on me. He always calling after me. He is. He ain't really possessive, you know. I find it cute that he shows interest. That's, that's how you start thinking when you start having sex with people. If y'all don't believe me, ask somebody. If you do not believe me, ask somebody. The red flags you just ignore. That is why it's so important to leave sex for last. Leave sex for last. Please, leave it for last if you're trying to date seriously. Because the men, and, and they won't tell you this either. I want to be honest with you. Every time, when a man dates you, 
it's his intentions to have sex with you. You have more power before you have sex with him than after. You get more things out of him before you decide to have sex. He isn't going to tell you that, but I tell you that. They're probably going to get mad that I told you that. You have more power before you have sex with somebody. So you need to wait. 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 Get to know somebody. That's how we end up with these crazy people. And then we sit down a couple of months later and we be like, why with this crazy person? Because you decided to rush things. You decided to put the horse before the carriage. Now, another thing that we need to do in dating is establish exactly why are we to the table. I'm not saying on the first date when the man carry you out to say, well, what you can do? Be getting married, but what you want? No, I'm not saying that. What I am, what I'm, what I am saying is that when you reach a certain point in dating, I feel like, like a good time frame is like 90 days to date somebody. That's a good time frame to get to know somebody because at some point they can show you something that they can show you what they truly are in those first 90 days. They can't pretend that long. And if they pretend, they can slip up somewhere. After you have reached a point where you feel as if, okay, I need to be exclusive, exclusive with this person, you need to sit down and have that conversation on what are we? Not what you think we can be, not what you want us to be, not what you interpret us to be, not what you dream to be. What are we in this present moment? You need to ask that question. And most of the times, a man is going to give you a very straightforward answer, even if he ain't very direct. If that man tell you, we just friends, we getting to see where it goes, run. Run for your life, mom. It's been 90 days and he don't know what his intention is with you. Run, 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 run. Because I, I can tell you this too. In the first six months, a man knows whether or not he's going to marry somebody. I'm telling you. So in the first 90 days, you don't think he knows exactly what his intentions is with you? Whether he decides to marry you in that six months period, a year period, or two years, a man knows his wife when he meets, him, meets her. And he knows exactly what he wants. You need to stop assuming that that man is exclusive with you because you have been talking long. Stop assuming, ladies, that a man is with you because you have been talking on. You need to ask the man. He needs to be very straightforward with you, and he needs to tell you where are we going. If a man, a man is always a person with a plan. That's how they date. They got a plan from they meet you. If he is unable to provide you a concrete answer that okay, I want you to be my girlfriend. Why are you still there trying to wonder? If your kitty game can get him to change his mind, please run. Just run, just run and find somebody else. Go and catch another goober. Throw that goober back in the sea or throw that barry back in the sea and go and get a marlin. Please. We need to learn how to date correctly. That's why we don't be in relationships correctly because we cannot date correctly. And then we carry that same mindset into our relationships and then we move forward and we go but we don't move forward. We don't go nowhere at all. And then we end up unhappy in these relationships. And then we start, we start to cheat. We start to talk to somebody. And then we're having conversations on how to break soul ties. Please learn how to date with intention. Intention will save your life. Now, with all the seriousness and everything apart. Like I said, this season is going to be better than the last season. And I have a lot of things that I'm going to be presenting to you guys I've been working on. Remember, we're all about self-improvement. We're all about leveling up. And just, if you really are serious about beginning this journey with me, I definitely recommend for you to go and get my book, 23 Going on 2020. And also, in the meantime, there's going to be a big announcement coming soon. I've been working on something for you all. And I think this is going to be really, really helpful. And I cannot wait to present it to you very soon. So, with that being said, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in for another episode of Wind Down Wednesdays with your girl, Joshi, and I hope to see you very soon.